Hello everyone, how you doing? This is George from Lady Lake, Florida, and I'm going to do a review on the Coco Coupe sold by Safer Wholesale in Illinois. So what they tell you and what you get sometimes can be two different things. I noticed that the front wheels are DOT approved like they talk about. The rear wheels come in are not DOT approved. So that's one thing you, if you're trying to get it registered, you're going to have to change right away. Also, the glass markings. I'm going to see if these are good enough here in the state of Florida because they don't have a DOT number although they do have all the markings of a shatterproof glass that they use on vehicles so they may accept it because the CCC with the circle around it is commonly referred to as made in China and and also produced in China but it's for distribution in the European countries and they consider that the same as an ASI one the other thing is the steering wheel it has all these buttons it's upside down right now but it has all these buttons but I've never found any of them to work I was hoping to be able to change uh, from kilometers to miles per hour but have not been able to figure out a way to do that yet uh, it comes as they said all metal it sounds good when you close it the only thing is they ship it with damage to it already uh, the truck driver thankfully signed for it as damaged before he would take it from the shop so they couldn't say it happened in shipping. Yeah, one of the other things you're going to have to work on right away is the air conditioning unit, which is right in the car. Uh, it comes unlevel and facing back, so the condensation doesn't collect in those hoses. So by, by looking at other sites, I was able to know that you have to lift the dashboard up, level it out, lean it a little forward. This way, it'll collect in the tubes and go outside the car. If not, the first time you turn this on, you're going to have a lot of uh, leaking water in your car from the condensation. The buttons here, the one to the closest to the knob, uh, does control the floodlights up top. The one next to it controls nothing. It is a switch there, but it's a dead switch. It's a heater switch, but they have moved the heater to the dashboard along with the air conditioner. It's all one unit, the heat and the air conditioner. It does sound like a jet engine going off in your car, but it will cool it down. The other problem with the speedometer that it's in kilometers is it's way off as far as the speed you're doing. It's going to tell you you're doing 51, 52 kilometers, and in actuality that's 31, 32 miles an hour, but it's not. I put a mile per hour uh, app on my cell phone, and I do over 20 in the high speed, and it went as fast as 23, which is perfect for an LSV here in Florida. We're just going to make sure that the batteries have to be fully charged for hit to hit those speeds. Uh, you have to be careful charging your batteries. I've read in Facebook pages about these cars where if you don't turn the charger off, if you let it go at night, you stand a chance of melting your batteries because the charger does not shut off sometimes automatically. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The other thing is the seats are super cheap. These are going to have to be redone. There's no cushion in them at all. They're very flimsy. The other issue is the seatbelt they give you. The seatbelt they give you is not one that's going to go through the state of Florida. You cannot have a lap belt for a bench seat. You have to have a seatbelt for each seat in the car. So since they'll see four seats, that means I'm going to have to install four seatbelts on the car. The sunroof is nice. The racks are strong. I have no issues with the rack. The floodlights work good. The sunroof doesn't leak. So I'll be doing another review in a couple weeks to let you know how things go trying to register it. The other hassle with them is they wait to get the uh, MSO from China. They don't send you the MSO with the car. I think that's just a way to make a little extra money because if you don't want it, they don't send to China for the information. So they make an extra few dollars on you by not wanting the MSO. But other than that... So far, happy with the way it drives, happy with how long the charge lasts so far, but other than that, we will get back in touch with you in about two weeks or a month to let you know where we stand. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.